Uh, good afternoon, uh, Polar Nation. This is Mari Melander Freeslaven. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you late. Uh, we usually do daily announcements at uh, 12 o'clock every day. And um, I'm late today, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why. Um, I am on Dowling and Fremont right now to my Polars that are out there, and you'll know, um, you'll know why. Uh, when I show you this. So from here all the way down on the corner, we have Minneapolis Public Schools principals who are lining the corner. So we have elementary principals, we have middle school principals. We have high school principals, all from Minneapolis Public Schools, going all the way down. And you know why, right? You know why we're here, is because we lost a student last night. We lost a Minneapolis Public School student last night who attended Patrick Henry High School. He was not two weeks into his senior year when he was shot and killed right here in this space. And I know for me, I am so absolutely 100% over it. For those of you that do not know what is happening in the city of Minneapolis, let me help you understand. So we literally are in a city right now that is completely and entirely out of control. I, I just, I have to absolutely just say it the way I feel it. Um, it feels out of control. It feels like when I walk into a classroom where the teacher has given up. And all of you guys know the way that classroom feels, right? You know that you'll get that teacher where maybe those one or two naughty kids that won't listen, the teacher just says, fine. They just shrug their shoulders and they sit down behind their desk and they put their feet up and they say, I'll collect this check, do what you need to do. And the whole class goes rogue. That's how it feels to me right now. That's how the city of Minneapolis feels to me right now. None, nothing is making any sense. Everything feels topsy-turvy. I understand completely that I am speaking not just as myself, but as the North Community High School principal. And guess what? I am speaking as the North Community High School principal. I have kids that so badly and so deeply want to be in school. They want to play their sports. They want to get in the weight room. They want to work out. And because of COVID, guess what? They can't do anything. We're kicking them out of the school. We're kicking them out of the weight room. They can't practice. They can't work out. All of these things because of COVID. But just down the street, they see people doing whatever they want. They see tents up. They see hundreds of people just not social distancing. And their law enforcement drives right past it. We're seeing out in the open whole parking lots that are being taken over. Whole, whole blocks that are being taken over. People who have who have substance abuse problems, chemical dependency issues, um, all of these other things, and they are just allowed to be however they want to be. But my kids can't work out. It doesn't make any sense, and the kids know it doesn't make any sense. This absolutely, we have we have an opportunity in Minneapolis to try something different to do something new and that's to say that we are not going to be held hostage by the voices of a few you overhear law enforcement in our city right now and they feel like well well the city council doesn't want us or or well you know the people don't want us which people who which people is it show me where they're at okay so are you talking about the few some of them that don't even live here? Are you talking about the people that, that, that don't have to worry about their children coming to a store like this? That live in a different part of the city? Is that who you're talking about? Because the people who I'm around need and want good law enforcement. The people who are in my community need and want good law enforcement. And, 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 and have the maturity to be able to say that we need good law enforcement to need and want us. What I'm seeing in my community is that there's not even patrolling anymore. I, I can see outright laws getting broken, traffic laws, people driving right through red lights, speeding, going 60, 70 miles an hour. Uh, my, uh, we got kids on skateboards that are getting hit by cars and nothing, no, what is law enforcement? It's enforcing the law. 
There is no law enforcement. There is a reaction, but there is no enforcement. And so we here, we can't take it anymore. I mean, look, what does a good principal do? A good principal has control of their school. A good principal does it without being um, mean and ha doesn't necessarily carry a big stick. They just have order. They have order in their school. And, and we are at a spot as principals where we're like, okay, we can't get the kids inside. Okay, you won't let the kids, okay, so we'll, we'll come out here. So we're out here. So you've got about 50 to 60 Minneapolis public school principals that are out here and, 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 and we'll hold space. And so, and so if, if, if the people that, that we have, we have looked to and have hired in our city, um, our leaders, if they, if they can't get some sort of way where they can come out here and hold space, then, then we'll do it. Okay. We'll, we'll do it. So that's what we're doing today. Um, Polar Nation, I'm sorry this wasn't your regular typical uh, daily announcements. This was a little different. Um, I hijacked some of our Polar staff. I got Mr. Lamar out here with me. I got Ms. Lisa out here with me. Ms. Lisa pacing back and forth saying prayers over this space, over you, over your families. Look, we all know who it is. We all know who it is. Everybody knows their addresses. Everybody knows the problem areas and everybody knows the problem houses, okay? It's time for somebody to come out and say the things that nobody else really wants to say. And if you don't see this video later, it's probably because I said too much. But you know that I love you. You know that we love you. You know that we are fighting. We are out here for you. Bowlers, be safe, okay? Be safe. We know that this feels wrong. We know that the world feels topsy-turvy right now, and we're not gonna be quiet about it.